A 10K gem by ace Clayton Kershaw helped the Los Angeles Dodgers secure a buy in the wild card round, and now they have home field for the NLDS. Joined now by Bob Guerin, Dodgers bench coach, and Bobby G, always great to talk to you. Congratulations, but as we were just talking about off camera, this is just the first step of many. Your thoughts? Oh, it is. You know, we come into spring training, we knew that, that we we're going to have a really good baseball team, and we just had to you know, play our brand of baseball every day and we get where we need to be. And uh, uh, it was, you know, a little different than last year, fighting right to the end. Now we had it kind of clinch the West earlier, but we have, you know, so much to play for and to get prepared for. So we're ready to go. Giants were great last year, 107 wins. The Dodgers had 106. I know the ultimate goal is to win the championship, but how important was it to bring the West back to Los Angeles? Yeah, I think that's the, the one step you want to, uh, with the new format, you want to win your division and you want to be obviously one of the top two records of the three so you can skip that first round. That first round's tough, you know, so it's a, it's a, it's a huge advantage to win it. And, uh, you know, our guys give them credit from everybody, coaching staff, front office to every player that plays every day. Uh, we got it done. And, and like we said, when we're off camera, this is just the first step. We have many more accomplishments we have to do, many more goals. But uh, we got the right group, the right mix, and it's going to be it's going to be a good journey. Bob, the Dodgers are on pace to win 113 games. But tell me how you, as a bench coach, Dave Roberts' right hand man, how do you guys determine when to sit guys and rest them appropriately, to, but also to make sure that they're ready to go come postseason? Where's the balance there? So we have a real good uh, collaboration with, with the medical staff, the performance training staff, performance science, and we have an outstanding manager that has a great feel for people. And you just look at uh, the schedule and you figure out, you know, what might be the right time to, to rest somebody. What, you know, sometimes guys don't want to rest, they want to stay sharp. So it's a delicate balance, but we've done it all year and we'll, we'll prepare, you know, right to the end and knowing that we're going to have some days off before the you know, our first playoff game, uh, guys will be ready to go and rested and, and, you know, hopefully remain healthy as we have been and go into the playoffs strong. Speaking of health, what is the likelihood that Tony Gonsolin returns prior to the end of the season as a starter? And if not, could you possibly see him coming out of the bullpen in the postseason? Yeah, time will just determine that. I know he's been throwing it through yesterday. Uh, you know, Tony has had a fantastic season as an all-star, and we would take anything that he can contribute to us, whether it be starting, bullpen, whatever his arm, his body will let him do, we'll be happy to have it. What have you noticed being around Joey Gallo? I bring him up because obviously you spent a great deal of time in New York as well. Didn't really seem to fit him, but L.A. seems to. A big home run yesterday. What have you learned about him? Uh, he's just a super guy. You know, when he came over, you know, he first got to meet him, he seemed kind of quiet. And then you more, the more and more he's been around, you know, our culture, his personality's coming out. And he, he's kind of a dry sense of humor, funny guy. And a uh, yeah, very intense player. He comes to play every day, works hard, and uh, we're just really happy to have him. And last night he hit a ball so far. We had kind of that <laughs> cold, damp night that is here at the stadium. And so I think it only went 430, 440 feet. I just hits one of those like that in a day game, might go completely out of the stadium. He's exciting to watch. Yeah, according to uh, the uh, the numbers there, Bob, it was 437 feet. I want to ask you about something that your manager, Dave Roberts, had said several times this season. He feels this is the best team he has had to manage. Now, we're talking about a team, as you know better than anybody, that has been to the postseason perennially. Do you agree with that in terms of your lineup and the staff that you have right now in terms of your arms? Uh, I definitely do. It's a it's a it's a close call because we had a lot of great teams, as you know. But yes, I would 100% agree because I think we have a little bit of everything. We have a little more speed than we've had in the past. If we need that uh, aspect of the game to, to, to work for us, we have power throughout the lineup. Our pitchers seem to be very versatile where, you know, if somebody starts for us all season, they could probably relieve in, in the playoffs if we needed to. Uh, we don't have a, a heavy platoon team. Uh, like we've had in similar years uh, in the past. So I think just a combination of everything. And then you have, 
kind of the the it factor you know you know freddie freeman what mookie betts brings trey turner's uh you know joining the team late last year combined with some of the guys we've had like jt uh, will smith's coming into his own he just keeps getting better and better in my opinion the best catcher in baseball and it's just a combination of everything it's it's great to have to try to figure out which one's best. We've had so many good ones, but I 100% agree with Dave. All right, I want to ask you a really quick question about Tyler Anderson. Do we not give him enough credit for what he has done for this club this year? I don't know who we is. I know I know we on the inside give him a ton of credit. He's been fantastic. You know, on the outside press of the baseball world, you know, it's I don't know. I don't know what they say, but but if they see him every every fifth day like we have, they, they'd all be praising him and giving him the credit because he, he's an intense competitor. He prepares as good as anybody. He fields his position. He makes quality pitches time after time and just a fierce competitor. And we love when he's out there. He works quick, gets the defense uh, on their toes and just a tremendous year. So happy that that, you know, he's with us and yeah, I could see him doing big things the rest of the season, too. He's been great all year. All right, 15 and 3. He has the nightcap for you guys tonight. The Los Angeles Dodgers have uh, already done the first step of this big process. Bob Guerin, thanks so much. Great to see you as always. Best of luck the rest of the way.